If you want a rich, bold, and savory seafood flavor without tons of time or ingredients, this Cajun seafood pasta is a great catch. Check it out, give it a try, and I think you'll be hooked. All right, we've already done all of our mise en place, so this is gonna be a cooking only video. I've got about eight ounces of andouille sausage, which I diced up into about quarter inch pieces. I'm gonna get that into a large skillet over medium heat with a splash of olive oil to help it get started cooking and brown that off for five to six minutes, rendering out some of its fat along the way and getting lots of crispy, craggly corners and bits there. Now I've got some blackening seasoning here, which we've made on the channel before, and I'll drop a link down below. But if you get this at the store, look for the low salt or salt free kind and add your own salt as you go. Otherwise it can be a little overpowering. Just a mixture of garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne, paprika, and a few other spices. I'm going in with about 20 large shrimp here. I'm gonna hit those with some of that blackening seasoning or Cajun spice, whatever you're using. In the meantime, I'm going to cook one pound of fettuccine pasta per package directions, stopping maybe one to two minutes before it is al dente. We're going to finish cooking it in our cream sauce. After two or three minutes, go ahead and give those shrimp a flip. Season that other side as well, of course. And again, if your blackening seasoning does not have salt, you'd want to hit these with some salt as well. These shrimp were peeled and deveined already, but I left the tail on. It's kind of a nice little handle to grab them with. After two to three minutes on that other side, I'm going to hit them with a juice of half a lemon, just for some nice acidity and to help start loosening that fond along the bottom of our pan. We'll go ahead and evacuate those shrimp and just cover them up. They will stay nice and warm in the time it takes us to finish off this dish. I've got a few green onion, light greens and whites that I'm going to put into this warm skillet and just soften those for one to two minutes scraping up any fawn that I can. Before adding in about one and a half to two cups of heavy cream. Yep, it's heavy cream. This is a very rich and indulgent recipe and it's darn good. So bring that up to a simmer and start to reduce slightly, scraping up that fond as you go, of course. Once it is simmering away and slightly reduced, I'm gonna add in some crab meat. You could use back fin, claw. This is a mixture of crab meat here. It was already cooked. We're just warming it up in our cream sauce. After another minute or two, the crab should be warmed through and I'm gonna go in with some grated Parmigiano Reggiano. As always, the exact amounts and instructions will be down below in the description, so no need to take notes. Going with a little Swiss cheese as well for more body and flavor in this cream sauce. And then just continue to cook that out over medium to medium low heat until your pasta is just shy of al dente, at which point we will add that pasta to that simmering cream sauce. Stir and allow that to finish cooking in the cream sauce, during which time it will absorb that cream sauce, thicken up nicely and deeply flavor that pasta. At the very end, we can kill the heat and add in about half of our andouille sausage so that we get a little bit in the bites of pasta itself and some of that smoky flavor is imparted to the pasta. The final step is to just turn the heat off and leave it for five to 10 minutes so that that pasta can fully absorb that beautiful, cheesy, crabby cream sauce, which as you can see, it has done. Bowl up a generous amount, and then we're gonna get a little fancy with it here. Add in a few pieces of our andouille sausage, lay down a few of those nice blackened shrimp. I've got some finely diced Roma tomato here for a pop of color and acidity. A few more of our green onion greens another sprinkling of grated Parmigiano Reggiano, another sprinkling of the blackening spice so we get that in every bite. And then a little bit of fresh oregano and fresh basil to ever gild the lily, but they also add a wonderful, nice, bright, herbaceous flavor in each bite. And finally, because there's seafood involved, I tucked in a couple lemon wedges there. Let's go in and check out this pasta. Look how well that sauce clings to the pasta. Every noodle is just perfectly coated because we didn't overcook it in the water and it finished cooking in that sauce. It really absorbed all those flavors. That crab is just almost impossible to detect except the flavor is just out of bounds. The shrimp are crusty, succulent on the inside. That blackening spice has just gotten absolutely cooked into the outside of the shrimp in the best possible way. And this is a really satisfying bowl of food. 
Not great for you, but sometimes good old comfort food is just what the doctor ordered. So I hope you'll give this one a try. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And as always, go make something delicious.